All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakudash, and double honors unto the elders and apostles of Jim's great millstone. And a sincere Shalom to Yahweh, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And this lesson is going to be on, you know, the walk in which, you know, the true men of the Lord are, are walking, man. Because yeah, we understand that um, from the moment Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put the spirit on you and brought you into the truth, and you've been proven that you you move um, ad adverse unto the world, man. You know, as the world moves adverse unto the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and will we move adverse into this world, man, and its ways. So from the moment Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put the spirit on you, and, and the spirit moved you to 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 work. Hey, you've been proven that you've been different, which is a, which is a beautiful thing. Because ultimately, in us, you know, being examples unto the flock, as the scripture says, it also proves this. This is Deuteronomy seven, um, slacking. Like yeah, seven and six. It says, "For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth." Now we understand, you know, this goes for you know the whole nation of. Uh, the nation of Israel, I'm talking about you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But Yahweh Bashim al Shah has a favorite or a separate within his favorite, man. You know? And that goes for the elect. And that's that's the role in which we're we're hoping that we uh are of, man. That's the role in which we're which we're playing out, you know. Lord willing, as the scriptures say, he that endureth into the end, the same shall be saved. Hey, we're fighting to be of that number, man. So you've been proven. A not only an example unto uh, the world, but a, but an exa example unto yourself as well, man. Because we understand that what in order to wield the sword, we must be cut by it first. That's why the scripture tells us that it's a double-edged sword, man. Dividing asunder what joint and marrow, you know, intent to the heart, so forth and so on. Paraphrasing, right? But he's shown you that you're separate, and you take account of you know how. You were uh, even in the world, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai always separated you. Always separated you, man. Wherever the case may be, brothers were always a hey, watched over, a hey, we were spared, and we were we were um, guided, man. We hope and pray that we're of that number, man. And we're gonna continue to work, Lord will, until we can't, man. Hey, because we understand the famine of the word is coming. But nevertheless, man, Yahweh Bashim al Shai shined, as the scriptures say, shined his glorious light upon us. So we have a duty to teach, to preach, and to be that, that example. Because when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, he was that perfect example. How do you prove that you're his? A walking to the best of your ability as he walked. As the scripture tells us in the book of John 3, and I'm going to start here at... um. This is verse. Let's here. Let's lock here. Yeah, John 3, and I'll start here at uh, 19. It says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Right. So light and dark, they're what? They're, they're opposites or adverse to one another. And the way of this world, moving in the way of this world is complete darkness. Because it's what is opposite of the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is the light. It says, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved, right? Because even in our persecution, man, it's going to be shown that these people truly hate the light. Because what? You're going to be off score. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to be reviled as the scripture speaks. You know, you're going to be seen as, as the filth of the earth, of the earth. You know, you're going to be labeled with all these, these, um, what do you call it? Not cold words, these, um, what within the word gets back to me? You know, but they're going to label you with all these specific terms 
to, to try to make you feel uh, less than. They're going to plaster your face over the news and whatever social media outlets uh, that, the, that these people use. But it's ultimately because they hate Yahweh Shai within you, man. That's why the scripture tells us it's not us that they hate it. Right, Matthew 24 and 9, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right, it says for my name's sake, man. But they that's a that's us, man. That's us. We 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 don't want to be a part of this world, man. We don't want to be a part of this world. If, if Jake obviously hasn't been paying attention to see that the, the, the more and more we, we are in this world, the worse our position becomes. We're in this hell as a prison system because what? We disobeyed the laws and the rules, the moral compass that was set for us. John 15, 18, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Yahweh Shah himself had to go through this. Because what? He was presenting the light of Yahweh. Letting it shine, man. Now he was wise with it, as we must be. But they hated the light within them. And what Yahweh Shai put that light within us. The scriptures tell us, hey, that the, the when we go into the book of wisdom of Solomon, it says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion, for she is the breath of the most high. It also tells us that what? Wisdom maketh the man's face to shine. So these people in the world, they, they see that, that we're different through the spirit, man. Even though they can't exactly put their fingers on it. They understand when they look, it's like, wait, wait. He, he not acting like a nigga. He, he not moving like a nigga. Whatever tribe you're from. Why, why, ain't, he, why ain't he doing this? Why, why is he, basically, why are you shining? <laughs> it says, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light. Lest his deeds should be reproved. And we're working progresses, man. We're not perfect. Yet we're trying to strive. We're striving, man. Hey, we get knocked down. We get beat up. We get, we get lows. We get spiritual highs as well. But we're fighting. We're fighting, man. And, and when you're fighting against the evil, the evil is going to push even harder. Jake don't even know that they're in a fight. That's why they continue to lose. Hey, we're, we're, we're like, uh, we're late. We're, um, what was that movie? It was with, um, dang, I can't even think. Of it. His name was, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. You know, it was about the, the, the colleges. And at the end, he's just yelling at the, at the screen saying, wake up, wake up, wake up. You know, that's what we're doing to Jake, man. Telling you, hey, man, you're, you're a chosen nation. Unto the, unto the Lord, the king of the universe, and his son, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten. Yet Jake is like, oh, man, I ain't trying to hear that. But then when they, they look at the men on the highways and hedges, you know, proclaiming the names of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, showing forth to their people that, hey, man, you're, you're special. Stop dealing in the dark. When, when Jake sees this, they're astonished because it's like, wait, what? But it's, it's still not enough. The scriptures tells us. That what? Hey, they're, they're going to remain within that darkness, man. It says, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither come to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let's, let's keep going. Because the separation... Has occurred from the beginning. The scriptures say the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. Right? It's Luke 6. And 22, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when men shall separate you from their company. Well, that's been happening to us, man. You, you can't even vibe with Jake the same, man. Because it's like, damn, y'all, y'all still on this? Y'all still in, in this in this dark state, man? Do you not want better? So your your Yahushua has naturally separated us from them, man. That goes back to the holy. 
And understanding, hey, if Lord willing, we be of that number, then also means what? You're of the Allahayim. So you are always in that day, or you 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 were formed in that in that righteous state to be different, man. It says, Blessed are you when men shall hate you, and when the they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. And that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna hey, cast us out as evil. And hey, you're gonna have the, the wicked try to cast you out as evil. <laughs> you're gonna have the wicked cast you out as if you're evil, man. As, as we've been saying more and more, a uh, truth is deemed as hate, you know, and, and darkness is deemed as love on this side. That goes also into uh, um, Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, one to you that call evil good and good evil. That's exactly what they do here because it's ran under the vibration of what man? Under the basis of man, Esau, Edom, man. This this is the this is his world. He has the reign to rule right now. Yahweh Shemel Shai gave him that power, man. But we understand Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Hey, the the the, the rebuilding of the temple hey, is is happening right before their faces, man. The tabernacles of David are being rebuilt. Yahweh Shemel Shai's men. Are coming back into the knowledge of who they truly are. And, and, he, and Esau feels it. He feels a hey, that, that he feels this 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 force, this spirit of Yahweh Shai, a hey, being strengthened upon, strengthened upon the earth, man. That's why he's gonna come after us so hard. Hey, but that standard is also gonna be lifted. The standard will be lifted, man. The scriptures say it, it must happen. If Esau have to come with the persecution, hey, well, that standard has to be, impl uh, impl um, what's the word? Um, the standard has to come, not imp uh, imp impl implied. The standard must come, though, man. You know, it's lucky for, for, you know, stumbling upon my words. But you were separated from a company. Let's grab another precept. Because this is what we hope and pray we have. Is Ezekiel 9 and 4, it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Meaning what? They don't have that, that mark of exemption, that tawa, which is a spiritual mark. Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women. Because judgment is going to go forth, man. But Yahweh Bashim is going to is going to protect us, man. The angels encampeth round about those that fear the Lord. Psalms 91, read the whole chapter. It's all about being, being in the tabernacle of Yahweh, man. Trusting in him and him protecting you. It says both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Hey, Yahweh Shai, hey, gives us the, 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 you know, he gives us those spiritual dreams. Hey, whether we, we see the destruction, hey, whether we see, you know, uh, the, the power, hey, whatever, whatever the dream, the spiritual dream may be, man, him shining and putting that dream upon us while we're sleeping is a gift, man. Everybody don't get to, don't get to, have these dreams and understand them and be able to break them down. That's special, man. Hey, as the elder in Dallas said, man, there's billions of, of Israelites within the world. And Yahweh Bashim al has chosen you specifically to hold this word. And not only to hold it, but to preach it, to multiply it, as this parable of the talent says. That's, that's a huge honor, man. That's a huge responsibility. That's why the scripture says, hey, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Because the Lord is, is giving something so precious unto us. We have a, a duty, man. And this, this duty is going to extend into our legacy within the kingdom. Lord willing, we be found faithful. 
It says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin in my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. Right. So that's that's going into the, the mark of exemption in which the elect have a and the, the judgment in which the rest of these people are going to go through. You know, I'm going to grab another precept. It's coming from the book of um Philippians three. And I'll start here at uh, seven, because when we look at the walk of Apostle Paul, man, Apostle Paul suffered here in the flesh, you know, and he, he always lists, you know, what type of, you know, battles he had to overcome. Hey, he said shipwrecked. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to that and then I'm going to come back to this. Shipwreck. Oops. 2 Corinthians 11 and uh, 22. It reads, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Yahweh Shai? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant in stripes above measure in prisons, more frequent in deaths often. Meaning what, man? These are these are the the battles that he had to deal with. Getting beat, you being sent to jail, prison, a look basically looking in the eyes of death often of the Jews five times received I forty stripes save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods, and but we understand what the scriptures say he who he whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth. So the Yahbashim, hey, we always hey, as an Israelite, you understand tough love, man. You know, that's something within within your within your spirit, man. Well, Yahweh Shimei is the ultimate father. So he's been showing forth his love towards you. Hey, from forever. Just because we're in the truth don't mean we don't catch hell. We know we hey, even when we mess up, we understand it, we acknowledge it, and we repent, and we and we continue continuously move, man. No stagnant waters. It says, thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck. Now, it's different. You know, we when we say we shipwrecked, we just talk about, you know, our whips, man, our cars. We He's talking about it in the ocean, man. Suffered shipwreck. Boat coming apart, no food. You know, I've been having to hold on to a piece of wood hey, hey, that, it, that Lord willing that it may drift to, to you know, a coast. These are the these are the, the difficulties, these are the straits in which Apostle Paul went through. But let, let's see what he says though. Right? It says thrice was I beaten with rods, so he was beat. Once was I stoned. Come on now. Thrice I suffered shipwreck, a day and a night I have been in the deep. That's talking about 24 hours at sea, man. <clears throat> In journeys, often in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils of my own countrymen, Jake ass, wicked ass niggas, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness. So we had to deal with shit with Jake in the city, had to deal with the, the, the complications of, of being in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils amongst false brethren, a those who, who we call brothers and trusted, in weariness and painfulness. So tear, blood, sweat, tears, man. And watchings often and hunger and thirst. So that's not just, just you know, fasting when you want, but fasting because there's nothing else you could eat. And fasting's often in cold and nakedness. Besides those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily. A, because Apostle Paul still suffered within the flesh. Right? Did he not have a thorn in his side, as the scriptures speak of? It says, besides those things that are without, besides all that, that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. It says, who is weak? And I am not weak. And I am not weak. Who is offended and I burn not? If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern my infirmities. 
the power of Yahweh and father of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which is blessed forevermore, knoweth that I lie not. Now let's go to this in, in Philippians. Because through all of that, who did he still give glory to? Hey, because Yahweh Bashim Yahshua was clearly showing that Apostle Paul was separate. That he was different, man. That he was special. So he goes through all this and he still what? Remains and keeps his integrity. And what? This uh, Philippians 3. Matter of fact, I got to start up. Sec, sick, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which was in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Yahweh Shai. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord. So throughout all that hell, and he and Apostle Paul went through hell, man. Throughout all of that, he said, well, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dung, that I may win Yahweh Shai. So put in short, a synopsis of what Apostle Paul is saying, hey, all that shit I went through, I go through all again to gain Yahweh Shai, man. That's, that's a true man of the Lord, man. And we understand we have to take a similar walk. Yeah, it may not be as strenuous or as difficult as Apostle Paul, you know, because he was he went through everything. But we understand each brother's personal hell was meant for them. But inside of your hell, Yahweh Shai has proven that you're different, that you belong to him. Even even in, in the face of, of being a martyr, man, knowing that you you may have to go because we all we all think about. Hey, well, I'm, I may have to be a martyr for this truth, man. Nevertheless, the scripture tells us what? The dead in Yahweh Shai shall arise first. That, that an L uh, in, the, in the flesh here uh, of dying isn't an L, man. Because we understand death. Because what? The wisdom that light is shined upon us. We understand the, 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 the earth returneth unto the, the, or the dust returneth unto the earth, and the spirit returneth unto Yahweh by Shemuel Shah who gave it. You know, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, man. Let's keep reading. It says, um, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh Shai, or it's like of Yahweh in Yahweh Shai. So throughout all that, Apostle Paul kept moving. What he, he understand that what? As the scripture says in the book of Corinthians, so I runneth not. Um, it's like it. How does it go? Matter of fact, let me just grab it. It's no sense. I'm just quoting it. Runneth he that runneth the race, runneth that he may uh remain. Run that he may obtain. It's like it. <clears throat> First Corinthians 9 and 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, right? We see Jake. Jake will be grinding all in the world for, for the riches of this place. And not understanding that this that America is going to be destroyed. Not understanding that the money that they're working so hard for. It's about to be transferred into uh, the electronic currency. And the only way to continue within that is to receive this devil's E mark, which is a physical mark, the RFID, a, the MOTB, man. So their, their end is going to be without honor because they bowed down unto E, man. But it tells us what? They do it to obtain a corruptible crown, right? They want the praise, the fame, the esteem of this world. But we... And incorruptible. We want a legacy of eternity and righteousness, man. Knowing that we've been faithful unto Yahweh Bashem Yahshua from the beginning. Knowing that uh, out of the, the, the greatest destruction, you were found faithful and worthy to be saved, man. Caught up in the chariots, lifted up out of here, looking down upon the, upon the, the place of our, of our hell, the place of our captivity, man. Man, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. 
we understand our enemy. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I preach to my others, I myself should be a castaway. <clears throat> and this is not a lesson to, you know, <clears throat> to make you more prideful, but to make you more grateful and to a, an exhortation for you to push harder as well. Because we're a we're nearing close to the end, man. Persecution has to happen, which means famine of the word has to happen. Which means what? Hey, the end is nigh. As the scriptures say, for our, hey, the, our salvation is nearer than when we believed. It is. It truly is, man. And Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to save his men. He's promised it. And we understand the Most High is not a man that he should lie. This is uh, 14. I press Philippians 3 and 14 again. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Let us therefore as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Right? We're striving for perfection. But it says be thus minded. Right? And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, Yahweh shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, where to we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers, followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Going back to the root of proving a hey, that you're, you're special, man. It says who's it's lucky. Yep. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are enemies of the cross. Right. Ultimately, if you're not walking with Yahweh Shai, you're walking against him. You're walking adverse to him, which makes you what an enemy of the cross. So we're, we're about to come up against all these enemies, man. All these enemies. But this is not an impossible feat. The scripture tells us the elect are going to win. It says, whose end is destruction, whose power is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is, he is in heaven. Right, even when we get together, man, and fellowship and speak about, you know, the, the word, and on whatever level, that's heavenly conversation. The, the ordinary mortal mind can't receive that, man. Th these are our gifts only, and conversations only, uh, uh being spoken by by a man by men who are who have the spirit this is the spirit is not a light thing for our conversation is in heaven from whence also we look for the savior the lord yahweh shai who shall change our vile body right these chains of darkness this stony heart that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself and even what defeat death man so i'm gonna close out with this precept this is the book of romans 11 and 4 and he reads um but what saith the answer of yahweh unto him I've reserved to myself 7,000 men, right, complete number, <clears throat> who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And those men what, are going to make it through. They will be saved. Thus saith the scripture. And if some have to die of being martyrs, they will be risen first. Thus saith the scriptures. So understand, man, hey, the Lord has brought you into something, hey, uh, as the elder of our camp always says, Elder Karatazah, he says what, man? This is esoteric, meaning for a, a, a specific elite group of individuals. That's absolutely the truth, man. The Lord has put the spirit on you, a hey, fight. This is not a physical fight, fight, man. Continue to push. We are almost out of here. And Yahweh Bashim is going to show forth his power and he's going to save his people, man. His men, the elect and the one third. That was a that's a promise, man. We understand what's written hey, is true and faithful. 
We just have to continuously allow a hey, the 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 movie to unravel. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem A double honor is unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.